my name is Serena. Um, welcome back to Serena's ABC, Serena's Awesome Ballet class. Thanks for tuning back into Inspiration Fine Arts. So today I will be doing things a little differently from the past classes. I will be making more of a stretching video. So stretching is really important, especially for ballerinas and ballerinos. Um, it's linked to, you know, flexibility and that's how you see all these professionals have these graceful, elegant leaps and extensions and their kicks. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do something a little more low-key. We're not gonna be moving as much, but we're gonna be learning how to stretch yourself properly. So like I always say, make sure you have a glass of water and a hair tie um, to tie up your hair if you have long hair. Um, you won't need shoes for today, but I would recommend a yoga mat just to, you know, or if you don't have one, it's fine, but just to, you know, protect yourself from the floor if it's like really hard. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so now that I have my hair up and a good attitude, let's get ready to stretch. So as always, I'd like to start off with head rolls and ankle rolls just to, you know, get your joints all warmed up. So we will start with our head. I want to do three head rolls to the right and to the left. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, to the left, one, two, three. All right, now for the feet, I'm going to do three outside and three inside on both legs. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, inside. One, two, three, left foot, one, two, three, inside, one, two, three. All right, so the first thing I like to do is to go out into your second position and just up and down and make sure you're, you're not leaning forward, but you know, just staying straight and you'll have your arms on your thighs or near your knee, but this really helps to open up the hips. If you hear some cracking, it's fine. Um, what I like to do next is, you know, push one of your shoulders forward so you really get that good twist in your back. So go left, twist, right, twist, just to open up your back and your um, hips. So what I like to do next is turn your feet in and reach all the way down. Try to go as far down as possible. See, I almost have my elbows on the ground. This does really well to your hamstrings, you know, feeling them pull out. And then you want to reach over to your right, nose to knee. Getting that good stretch, especially on your right side here. And you want to go over. Having that good side stretch. Come back to your knee. Come back to center. And now the left side. You'll have your left, left hamstring. And now side stretch. Reach as far as you can towards that left wall. And then come back nose to knee. And then come back to center. All right, so now that we have our hamstrings all stretched out, I want to start focusing on the right and the left splits, especially. So we'll have our legs out in a second, but parallel, so turned in, your toes facing forward and your heels facing back. You'll have your arms out in a T for second position, and you'll do little stretches to the right and the left, just having that good stretch here, isolating your rib cage. And then we're going to reach over to our right side. Recognize this stretch for my second position bar combination. Nice stretch on here. And then we'll go to flat back. So your back is parallel with the floor. And you'll come up and come right back. If you can't come right back, it's fine. Just go as far as you can without hurting yourself. And then come back down. All right, now let's go to the left. So little pulses again. 
over to the left side. Nice stretch again, big rainbow. Flat back. And cover back. All the way back down. Nice. So let's get into our lunges. So we'll have our right lunge here, making sure that your foot is in a 90 degree angle. You don't want it to be too over it, but also not too far back, making sure your knee and your heel are 90 degrees towards the floor. And you want to pop this back heel and bring your knee up. And we'll just stretch here for a little bit. You can pulse a little bit, but make sure you don't hurt yourself. Take your arms off the ground and on your knee. Good job. And we'll bring our arms back down. Try to use your elbows to touch the floor. It's fine if you can't, but it's a good stretch for your splits. Come back up and press back. You want to bring your foot all the way down. So you're basically sitting on your other leg, making sure that your foot is pointed. Try to touch your nose to your knee. Reach your arms out to get a good stretch. All right. And we'll go into our jazz split. So our jazz split is when your knee is bent. You can go forward and we go to the side. And get ready for your splits. Obviously, if you don't have it, do not push yourself. I do not want you guys to hurt yourself. But if you feel comfortable, you want to sit up and go forward. If you're in your right split, try to reach your left arm towards the side. So all the way side, past your foot. That gives you a good extra little stretch. And up. And if you want to come back here, you can. And come back up. So that was our right side. Now we're gonna switch over to our left lunge. So again, like the right side, I want you guys to have that nice 90 degree angle here. And pop that back foot, knee up, and hold here. All right, and then we can put our elbows on the ground a nice little stretch for your left split and then we want to push back again and sit all the way back onto your right leg keeping this left toe pointed try to touch your nose to your knee all right and what's next our jazz split so almost a split but your back leg is bent push forward and towards the middle so these two legs and get ready for your left split everyone has a side and unfortunately the left side is not my good side and again if you don't feel comfortable please do not hurt yourself so left split, making sure your hips are square, reach forward, again if you're doing your left split, you want to reach your right arm forwards past your foot, and you can come right back, and perfect, so we just stretched out our right and left sides. Now we can come back into middle, or like I call it, straddle. So your legs are open in middle splits, pointing your toes, you reach over, try to keep this hip on the ground, and over the other side. And nose to knee. Just to knee on the other side. And then we'll do like 
middle stretches, so this is really gonna open up your hips. Um, so first of all, I want you guys to reach forward. It's okay if you cannot touch the ground. Just, you know, as much as you can go without hurting yourself. And then we're gonna do something that I like to call walking your dog around the park. So you're gonna start from the left, start from the right, and walk your dog to the left and to the right. So here, we're gonna inch ourselves towards the center. And to the left, and back again. Good job. Now I want you guys to flex your feet and bring it into pike. So point your legs and again, sitting tall in your back. I don't want you guys to hunch over, but straight backs and lean forward. Try to cover as much surface area as possible. If you're making like a circle with your arms. So you want to touch as far as possible, reach as far forward as possible. And touch your nose to your knee without hurting yourself. Keeping your toes pointed. Try to put your elbows on the ground. Try to keep your knees straight. And exhale, go even lower. All right, and now let's try it with flex feet. Again, forward as much as you can cover. This one is a bit harder. Put your elbows to the ground. Nose to knee, knees straight. All right, so now we're gonna come into butterfly position. So your knees are facing the side and your feet are together and facing forward. And again, you want to sit up in your back, making sure your back is straight and not hunching over, contracted. And ideally, we want our knees to be touching the floor, but do not force yourself. Even I can't do it myself. So again, arms up, want to reach as far as possible, cover as much surface area. It's kind of like you're smelling your toes, but we'll only be here for a little bit. So exhale, go even deeper and come up so i personally like to do my arm stretches here in butterfly so that's what we're going to do here i'm going to cross your right arm up and put your left arm through it you kind of want to drive it to the side it has a good stretch in your shoulder area and the other side and then i like to do over the head ones. So you are going to bend your left arm, grab your elbow with your other arm and pull it, but not too hard, just a good stretch. And other side. All right, so this is the end of my stretch. I know I didn't get to cover every position that you know everyone does if they're more in depth stretching sessions. But this is a really simple stretch for those of you who are at home, you know, during quarantine, don't have the motivation to get up and out of bed. Um, but really, stretching is a really good way to keep flexible if you want to get your splits, because I know that's pretty cool. Um, but really, it's also a good way to um, improve circulation through your body, um, having your blood move to every area of your body. Um, yeah, and just to keep healthy, kind of like yoga. But just to keep nimble um, and agile. Hey guys, congratulations. We just finished our seventh class together. So today we did a stretching video, which is kind of different from my normal uh, content, but I really want you guys to try it out. You know, just let me know how it goes, if your flexibility improves, but really it is also really good for you in general. So I'd really appreciate if you guys, you know, let me know how it goes. Um, but if you have any concerns, questions, comments, please leave them down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, if you like this video, you can go check out Inspiration Finance YouTube channel. We do a lot of stuff over there. We're a nonprofit that helps to bring arts to the youth. If you'd like to make a donation, there's a link below. Um, please hit subscribe and like to stay notified or just help us in general. Um, well, I really hope you guys had fun. Um, I know I definitely did while making it, and until next time, bye! 
Hi, we are your IFA co-founders. I'm Ellie. And I'm Miriam. And thank you so much for watching our videos. You guys can learn more about our cause down below at our website, www.inspirationfinearts.org. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We couldn't be where we are without the support of you guys, so make sure to send in videos of the things that you've learned during classes and pictures of the art that you completed. Everything you send in will be featured on all our social media platforms. Thanks for supporting us, and until next time, go find your inspiration! inspiration.